So it's Tuesday, and Emily's not here yet, and it's going to be kind of a chaotic day because it is my oldest son's birthday today. Austin is 22 today, and I think we're going to go, I'm going to take him to the casino. Um, I came home, I made a little bit of bacon, and I'm getting ready, I made my, more ground beef for my lunch tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is, uh, Dr. Ken Berry on his channel, he, we seen this about a couple months ago. He takes bacon and cuts it in, into quarters, like I have right here. I have quartered the bacon, basically just cut the, cut the bacon in four, four equal pieces. And I am going to cook it in this pot with a lid on it. And I'm gonna cook it longer than normal. I usually like chewy bacon, but what I'm making is I'm making bacon chips. And these are the ultimate snack if you're on carnivore or keto or beef butter bacon and eggs like we are. So it basically makes like bacon potato chips and they're great. And if I wasn't doing beef butter bacon and eggs, you can use it and dip it in anything you want, any kind of dip, uh, salsa, or when we went down to Tennessee last month, we took them to on the trip and ate them like chips and they're, they're a really good filling snack and that's what I'm going to do. So after I cook them, I'm going to cook them with the lid on. They'll cook for about 20 minutes covered and that will make them very crispy. And so yeah, I am just taking them. I don't think you have to do this, but I will put each one of them in there individually. And another thing that Dr. Barry pointed out is, is that when you cook bacon, you normally get splatter. But when you cook it in a pan with a high side, you get almost zero splatter at all. So that is a bonus. All right, we are 10 minutes in, and this the bacon is still being cooked. Stir it like that, make sure it's all separated. Still cooking. So 10 minutes, it takes about 20 minutes, what it did last time. All right, so we're 19 minutes in, and normally we would say that this bacon is done, but because we're making chips, we want it to be very crunchy, and so it's, it's going to cook just a few more minutes. I keep stirring it, and we're down to just a couple minutes. The thing about chips is you don't want them to be chewy. They have to be crunchy, so... Even though I feel like I want to take it off because it looks done, I have to wait another minute or two. All right, it's been another minute. I am going to turn the heat off and I'm going to pull these bacon chips out. And if you save your bacon grease, which you should if you need it, we have a couple jars. Now's the time because this bacon grease, uh, Emily uses it to cook with. So, yeah, don't let your bacon grease go to waste if you have somewhere to put it. So, Emily's not here yet. Um, I made the bacon chips. I made my lunch for tomorrow. Uh, Emily has been, I don't know what she's been doing. She's been taking, like we got some roast beef deli meat for her lunch. I don't know, but I'm going to get ready, take my son out for his birthday, and I hope you guys have a good night. I don't know what, what's going on and what Emily's going to eat, so that's all I got for uh, Tuesday night. Kind of a slow night, but we will be back tomorrow. All right, so <clears throat> I'm at Gabe's, and I'm pretty excited because... See this Columbia jacket? It's only an extra large, so 
I don't have to shop in the uh, in the big men's anymore. I can wear XL clothes. Makes me pretty happy. Wednesday night, day five. Bacon beef, chips. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. I don't see how the crazy ketos did 44 days. Mm -mm. Because I am already craving lots of things. Like? Like anything that comes in the keto crate. Hmm. Anything slightly sweet. What about Pangea Keto donut holes? I could do some keto donut holes. <laughs> but just a couple. They're good. So it's day five. Um, <laughs> ever since the Thanksgiving mishap, we have been getting on the scale daily to watch our progress. <laughs> um, That's not a healthy thing to do. It yeah. really is. I, I know it's... No. I know but, it's bad, but so so the next day, I was I was up like four pounds. Me too, exactly. And then the day after that, I was at two pounds. Same, exactly. And then the day after that, I was up one pound. I was down a pound. And this morning, I'm down a half a pound. And this morning, I was down one point two pounds. So, I think I'm on track to not only lose the, the Thanksgiving debacle, but... We beat ourselves up too much. I know. It's just water weight. It's not... We didn't gain four pounds. It's just that when you eat carbs, the water, your body holds It's like water. it absorbs it like a sponge. So, yes, half pound down. Um, We're just saying it's completely possible to have a cheat meal, if it's a birthday, a holiday, or whatever... You can get right back on track just, and just pick up where you left off. Just don't do every week like we did in the beginning because it really slows you down. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of, you know, I shouldn't have been losing just a pound and a half or two pounds a week in the beginning. And that was because it was because of the every week cheat meal. But I think you're going to always have plateaus here and there, whether you're cheating or not. I think you're still going to have weeks where you're not going to lose as much. And we probably didn't need to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, but we wanted to try. We just wanted to see if we could do it. And there is a lot of cravings. There's, you know, keto, keto is not, keto is really not that strict. No. Because basically if you could fit it in your carbs, you can have it. If you want, if you want a half of a candy bar. You can have it. You can have it. If that fits under your daily carb, you can you have it. You do beef, butter, and bacon. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. All day. You can have that bite of candy bar or handful of M&Ms, a small handful of M&Ms. Or... Reese's Pieces was my vice. <laughs> and, you know, it still is. I still, at night, I'm, re I'm looking at my little jar of Reese's Pieces. I literally have three Reese's Pieces a night. And that's, you know, or the keto ice cream. The, you know, Briars makes a good, the peanut butter keto ice cream is great. Yeah, it's really good. And we tried Halo Top and that was pretty good. They have um, ice cream bars that are really good. They're all about the same. The Halo, the ice cream bars no. were really good. And Aldi's actually has like a, a sandwich in it. Mm -hmm. They have, a, Aldi's has Many a little. Many ice cream sandwiches. Little ice cream sandwiches mm -hmm. that's sugar free. And as you can see, Emily is eating the bacon chips that I made last night. And you can dip them in salsa or any kind of dip. Obviously, I can't right now. No. You can dip it in queso. But beef, butter, bacon, and eggs is really, really, really strict. And I don't, I don't like it much. I like my burnt broccoli baked in the oven and Brussels sprouts and chicken wings. You know, what's really crazy about this is is that I'm fine. I could do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs every night. I could do it every day. I could do it for weeks at a time, all honesty. I could do it for weeks at a time. The problem is I want that slight little bit of sweetness at night. If I if if there was a ice cream that I could do on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, 
this wouldn't be a problem at all. But I'm already counting down the days. Two more days. Thursday night and Friday night will be beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And then Saturday, we will be back to keto. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've said in the past that I, during the week, I eat almost all carnivore. Like, everything I eat is meat-based. I just take meat. Rather I don't than really have an issue either. I like to have um, a coconut milk chocolate coated almond that came in the keto crate. <laughs> I would like that. And those are nice because mm -hmm. they come in little two packs. So it's just two almonds. Tastes just like an almond joy. I could actually eat under 10 carbs every day and be all right. But just the fact that you're not allowed to have the sweetness... That little keto sweet treat, even if it's just the smallest little, it's just a taste. I can't have that on BBB and E. I also don't like, um, like if I want to dip these in queso or hummus or salsa or sour cream or anything, I can't do that on this. I don't like that I can't do I that. Know, or I can't take cheese and bake it in the oven and make cheese crisp. Those are good. Can't have that. <laughs> yeah, on, on the Blackstone, I make cheese. I just put cheese in little little piles, and it melts down, and it turns, it browns up, and it's just, and it's really cheap, too. It's just kind of like chips. You can do it in the oven, too. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it always. It just seems like the Blackstone is so easy just to turn it on and do it. But provolone? Especially if you get like a smoked, any any form of a smoked cheese. It's good. I do miss that. So I did not go to work today. I uh, I didn't. I woke up with a headache when my alarm went off, and I just decided to turn back over. I I did not go to work. Um, therefore, I did not even begin to eat anything until like four thirty. So tomorrow I will be taking my ground beef to work that I was supposed to have taken today. Um, had a beef snack stick. What'd you have? I had an all beef hot dog and two hard boiled eggs. And now I'm eating bacon chips because he hasn't cooked my dinner yet. I have. Actually, right behind me, there's a crock pot that has a chuck roast, a three pound chuck roast in it, which I believe that's going to be for tomorrow. And on the other side, For tonight, we are getting ready to cook these four New York strip steaks. Like I said, that's why I'm eating the bacon. <laughs> so, here's a win. I am wearing a extra large sweatshirt that... Was, hoodie. Yeah, hoodie that was given to me a long time ago. And Wasn't that given to you by... Austin. Austin, okay. Yep. My son gave, when he lost some weight, and he gave me this hoodie, and to be honest with you, I put it on, and it fit really snug, and I was like, man, what size is this? And I took it off, and I looked at it. And, and sent me a picture. Sent a picture, and started smiling. So then, we went to Gabe's in Burlington today, and looked around, and I'm looking for a coat, because as you've seen in my other video, I don't have a coat anymore. I gave my coat to Derek. So, I'm still kind of looking for a coat, but I can wear all the extra large coats. So, I'm thinking now that I'm now an extra large. That's what we're going with. <laughs> now, what's funny is... I'm going to go to Hollister and get them a sweatshirt. No, they won't fit. <laughs> they won't fit. You know what? They didn't want me when I was fat, so they didn't get me now. <laughs> they didn't have any sizes for me. They have pant sizes. They didn't have no Hollister and then places had nothing for me when I was fat. And I'm not giving them anything now. You don't know that because you never even went in. I did go in. <laughs> they had nothing my size. They yeah, don't, they I'll never don't, shop there either. They don't, the they don't make my size. So they fat shame. They don't want their clothes big. <laughs> so they can't have me after I get down smaller. Right. But anyway, I always thought, well... There would be better clothes when I get down to another size. Well, at Gabe's in Burlington, believe it or not, it seemed like they had more clothes in the 2 and 3X than they did in the XL. Oh, so, that was just only because you were looking. So, <laughs> I always thought, wait, when I get down to the XL, I'll be, uh, 
I'll be able to find more clothes. So I started mm -hmm. looking. They didn't have anything that I wanted. There was a coat that I liked, and uh, it didn't have a hood on it though. But I'll find one. I'll find one. But I need a winter coat because it's getting colder by the day. Right. So, New York strips for dinner. Yay. Tomorrow will be chuck roast. Probably chuck roast. That yeah. might just be snack food. That's one of my favorite things. Because, I'm okay with snacking on that. Because too. I got T bones also. So, but you anyway. only got two. That's because all the other ones. So when you buy a T-bone. <laughs> How are we going to have a T-bone for four people? On one side, you got the New York strip. And on the other side, you got the tenderloin, which is like the filet mignon. That's the really tender meat. It's the smaller section on the side of the T-bone. You got the New York strip and then the, the tenderloin. Well, all the other ones that I've seen that were in the packs, they really didn't have... Any of, of that filet? Yeah, it didn't have hardly any of the tenderloin on there. It was just... So I guess we can make four steaks out of the two. No. I'm calling dibs on a filet if that's the case. So, well, I don't know if Austin would be here tomorrow. I don't know when he works. Right. I don't know if he works early or if he works late. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, I didn't want to... Because a T-bone without the filet on the side is nothing but a New York strip that you're paying more for because it's got a bone. You're paying for the weight of the bone. It still tastes better. Eh, maybe. It does. Maybe. We'll see. When we make these, we'll see. Because I seasoned them up and they've set for a few hours with seasoning on them. Okay. So, so, we'll see how that is. Can I have horseradish on this? All right. Butter, bacon, and egg. I don't think it falls into any of those categories. I don't think so. But you can have mustard. You can have mustard. And you should be able to have mayo because mayo is eggs. Maybe if you make your own where it doesn't have all the other oils. So, well, the Keto's made, Crazy Keto's made butter mayo. Yep. They, made, they made mayo out of butter. So. The, that didn't work well for us. We didn't like it. Or I didn't like it. So it's Wednesday. We'll be filming a little bit. Let's try not to get on the scale the rest of the week until Saturday. I can do that. Thursday, and then there'll be a video of the final night of beef, butter, bacon, and egg. And then Saturday, we'll go weigh in and see. Hopefully, I can still at least have this half pound that I'm down. So. Uh, huh? The half pound that you're up? I'm not up. I'm down. You are down? I'm down a half pound. Okay. <laughs> I am down a half pound. I wouldn't lie. Down a half pound. We'll see. And then we got way in Saturday, and I don't know what we're doing this weekend. Um, I have an oil change, and Abby has a groomer's appointment. That's what I have going on this weekend. Our Basset Hound has a groomer appointment on Saturday, and I have an oil change appointment on Sunday. Because she stinks. Bassett's do stink. She needs her nails cut. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll check back in later. Check back later. Have a good week.